I used to work at Smoothie King. Let's see if I can recreate their most popular drink, an angel food. All right, so I worked at this place for seven or eight months. So this is all estimation. I have no idea the actual sizing. This is like really just an experiment. I'm guessing, you know, I just want to see how accurately I can make um, an angel food without any, you know, guidelines, you know. All right, so I'm going to just going to add this much water. Is there a line? Okay, let's say I did know the ingredients. Where's the where's the measurement? There's no measurements on here, so that's not very smart. I think this this is an okay amount. Now, actually, we might need a little bit more water, just because at Smoothie King the strawberries they had were they already came with like this sugary syrup, you know, so that added to the water but there's no sugary syrup in these strawberries that i have okay so then i have some regular strawberries and they're unsweetened so i'm gonna have to add some sugar to this angel food so i'm adding six strawberries you want a very ripened banana if it's not ripe it's gonna taste even worse you know, because these strawberries aren't even sweet to begin with. So I'm going to add mm, like half a banana. Let's chop this up. See, right there is good. And I'm going to add um, some milk. So at Smoothie King, we actually used powdered milk, and it tasted just like um, this milk right here that we like to use here at my house. And so that's why I'm using some, this powdered milk instead of like regular milk. And I'm just going to do one scoop of that because I believe that's what we used to do at Smoothie King. Just one scoop of this. I think one thing a lot of people don't know about the angel food is that it's actually really sweet. It's super sweet. So, since it's super sweet, because the strawberries that it comes in already has so much sugar, and then we add more sugar, so, and then the milk itself has some sugar, so, like, angel food is actually really unhealthy. So, because I think it has so much sugar, I believe I'm going to do four scoops, because I think that, that would be the most accurate. Okay, I think that's good. The last ingredient is the ice. Let your feet heat the ground. Do what you love and call it work. I think for ice cubes, it was it was one medium. So for this, I think six ice cubes is the same. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. This looks perfect. This this looks really good. And I don't want to add any more ice because if it doesn't come out right. I can add more liquid or more ice. So I'm just gonna test this out first. I have a bill. Look at all that stuff. It's like stuck in the top. Okay. That's very watery. Very watery. Let me try it. Y'all stop playing with me. I worked there for a reason. At this point, I feel like I just know all the smoothies. Like, I can accurately make a smoothie now. Because I remember making... It was more so of like a banana milkshake. So maybe a smoothie. But it came out so bad. But now that I've worked at Smoothie King for so long, it's like my brain can automatically figure out the amounts that I should put in it that would make it taste good. That was perfect. However, I'm gonna be altering it. I'm gonna try adding ice cream this time and just seeing how that comes out. And then I'm also gonna do it again, but this time add more ice to give it more so of a, a frozen smoothie. This one's gonna be more so like um, a strawberry Hulk without the Hulk blend. It's like a, a strawberry yogurt delight with bananas. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy dirt from the one you can't live without. Okay, so I got one scoop of ice cream. We're going to put it right in there. 
three, four, five. We're gonna do more ice actually. And then with the ice cream too, it might be a little more watery. So that was six, I think, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's do fourteen, because I don't like that number. Fourteen. And then the sugar. I forgot all about the sugar. One, two, three, four. That might have actually been too much sugar. I just remembered we put ice cream already, so what's the point? But this might actually not blend fully, because that might have been too much ice. I started acting up. I went from 6 to 14. I think it's really weird that I could taste the Hulk without the Hulk blend. I can really kind of taste the Hulk. This one's really good as well. But something about that last one just hit too close to home. This one's a little more stray. It's like a little more off the path. It, it's getting there. It's just not as accurate as that last one was. That last one is like I was back in Smoothie King drinking an angel food. It was still good. Like I could drink this whole thing right now. Even though last time was like near perfect. Ugh, I, it's like I'm scared I might ruin it again. And I'm back. There were bananas upstairs. I remember when I used to make the angel food that it was one of those waterier smoothies. Like those more, it was more so a liquid smoothie. Like if you got like the, um, one of our veggie smoothies or like the peanut power plus, that was a little thicker. I'm so good at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a little sweeter than what I'm used to. I think I added too much sugar and milk. I'm going to add more ice. I don't know. It's not giving what the first one gave. This one, this is the one with the ice cream in it. This one is just the regular one. Oh yeah, this one still wins. The one without the ice cream it still wins. So right now I have my angel food with the ice cream. I have my modified angel food. So I'm going to need one more smoothie, and that's just going to be like the regular angel food that I made from the beginning that my sister should try. That's me crunching on ice. This one, to me, this one's the most accurate. So I'm going to go test her when she comes back home. You like recording everything. That's all you do with your body. She just got her hair did. That was yesterday. Look at her. She you like my teens? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! I know I'm famous and all, but like... I bought Smoothie King. So basically, I got three drinks for you to try. Are all, they're all angel foods. They really are all angel foods. But I want you to tell me which one tastes the most like an angel food. Because angel food is her favorite, y'all. Okay? Oh, this one's your YouTube channel? Yeah. Nice. That's why I recorded you coming in. Like so, so she's not going to be able to look. She's just going to try it. And here they are. I did pink straws because angel food. Anyways, these are how they look. Wow. But hey, big head. Oh, she's pretty today. I love her hair. I promise y'all she just got it done. We're going to start off with this one. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That was good. Next one. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these are the three drinks. I did them in order. High outside. You could open your eyes. Which one do you think the best? First, second, or third? Okay, I like this one was sweet, so I like this one. But this one tastes more like angel food. All right, and I then mean, this one was just uh, the one in the middle. Mm. And then which one was your favorite? Oh, between I'm I'm stuck between this one because this one tasted really good, but this one tasted like it was healthy good. This one just tasted like it was healthy. Like, mm. so which one's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to say this one. Yeah! There is no competition, but... So you guys know the process of what I did. 
Um, let's start off with. Now nah, let's start off with this one. <laughs> so the first one she drank, y'all know it was. It's the one I put ice cream in. So that's I did the same thing, same angel food, like my method, and then I just put ice cream in it. So that's why she probably thought it was sweeter. And remember what I said? I was like, why did I add the same amount of sugar when the ice cream will make it sweet? And then this one, this was my own, <laughs> this was my own angel food. <laughs> the one that y'all saw me add extra ice, extra water, extra banana. So yeah, and I said it kind of tasted watered down to me. I said that myself. And then this one, remember? I said this one is the most accurate to angel food, and you should have tried the first one I made. I did it the first time, I was like, this literally tastes straight from Smoothie King. So I just replicated it with that. I think the first one I ever made, just, that was perfect. Not, so my opinion was valid. So if you want your smoothie to taste just like the one from Smoothie King, follow the ingredients I did, okay? I did six strawberries, six pieces of ice, <laughs> one scoop, of milk, a little bit of water, like y'all saw, don't know the amount, and then four scoops of sugar. Okay, so the smoothies have been in the freezer for a little bit. She's gonna try this one first. It's in the, it's been in the freezer for a while. Oh, it tastes good. Okay. No. That one's okay. So, which one is your favorite? All right. All right. So the this one that you said you was your favorite is the one with ice cream in it. It's a regular angel food. The one with ice cream in it. This one is the most accurate to an angel food. So this is what an angel food would taste like if you bought it. And then this one was my own version of an angel food. <laughs> <laughs> and Dallas said the exact same thing as you.